excellent ski goes back to back in Vegas. There it is. And welcome to Las Vegas. We have a premier match for you today between Jasmine Ocean and Jessica Centeno. We are at the Rio All Suites Hotel and Casino, and this is the Predator Pro Billiard Series. This is the Las Vegas Women's Open, sponsored by Rum of Puerto Rico. This is George Teachea and Eric Horlifson bringing you the live action. Pleasure to be with you again. Pleasure's all mine, sir. Tell us what's going on with these two players. We've got a great match here. Yeah, not much between them. You've got the current Women's World 10 ball champion against one of the most successful women's players in history. So winner's side qualification match. The winner will advance to the final 16. Loser will have one more chance at that stage of the tournament. Funny thing is, both players here, when I saw them last in Puerto Rico, their Fargo has gotten, that was what, uh, October? Mm -hmm. uh, the Fargo has gone up five points, 770 for Jessica Centeno and 750 for uh, Jasmine Ocean. Yeah, two of the highest women rated women players in the world, both in the top eight. Both players known to be a little bit inconsistent, but also play really well when they are playing well. So real high gear and uh, decent medium gear. Yeah. That's a dangerous player, both and, and both have proven to be, mm -hmm. especially Cheska. Jasmine going from the middle here, going for the offensive break. Raise close bridge. See Josh Filler using this type of bridge on the break a lot. Wow, oh, re really hit him big there. Lost the cue ball, though. First chance of the set goes to Centeno. Reminder, this will be a best of three sets if the first two sets are split. It'll go to a shootout. In the next round these ladies play, which is, this is a winner's qualification, it will be um, a third set. And the only way it goes to a shootout is if they're tied in the third set. Third and you'll second see, set. sorry, George, you'll, you'll see here Centeno just gets right down to business right away, catching the four there, not going to have the results she wanted. But she's really a freewheeling type player, plays on instinct. And when things go well for her, when we saw it in the World 10 Ball Championship, she was pretty much unbeatable. She was down, uh, I think it was 8-4, to four or, uh, and then just took over. I remember against Allison, yeah, against in the Allison. semifinals. We played a real great final against Han Yu. <clears throat> Jasmine also on the higher gear side, knows the game real well. Great coach or brother. Yeah. Alvin, she'll be playing in the mixed doubles. She's a coach herself as well. Has an academy in Klagenfurt, Austria, where we had the Women's World 10 Ball Championships and a couple in the World Team Championships this year. Along with the World Junior Championships. That was quite an event. And that's sure. the second year I've been out there, and second time has just been top, top, top level action. You almost want to say as good as it gets. Mm -hmm. Well, Jasmine playing back into the angle here. Has the choice of going one rail or two rails. I think one rail is the simpler option. She'll be wanting to get pretty straight on the seven and straight back draw path towards the eight. A little too much angle here. Cue ball might barely beat the scratch, but she'll never be able to get perfect on the eight for how far the cue ball is moving to the right. Could choose to draw it over and just take more distance on the eight. I kind of like that the best because trying to draw it back and uh, that side pocket can come into play, following it down. Um, it's dicey. It looks dicey. It just lays a little funny, doesn't it? Yeah, cue ball is just tracking a little too far to the right. Yeah. If she were to play it with follow, she'd have to play it with left spin, which you'd want to avoid, or right spin, which you'd want to avoid yeah. here. Just going to draw out of it. Just did it softly so she wouldn't have as much distance to cover. 
Jasmine has, she an, hit. has an interesting pre-shot routine where she kind of feathers two or three times and then shoots. A lot of players kind of feather more over the ball. She just kind of gets down quick, gets her stroke in line and goes with it. Shot there, good speed. She's barely straight enough to avoid the 10. To put some right spin on this ball. Nice shot, very clean. Yeah, this match is going to be fast and furious. Both these players, gunslingers. Be in for a good treat here for the next hour and a half or so. Well, she lost the she lost the cue ball on the break, but was able to get back to the table and just clean it out, take the first game. Jasmine is a Predator sponsored player, thus plays with the uh, Predator cues. Centeno as well. Centeno still on the wood shaft. Jasmine with the carbon. Bit of a contrast in stroke length as well. Centeno more on the short side. Accelerates and falls through the ball more. Jasmine more on the long side, softer acceleration. Kind of natural follow through length. Both players were seated, thus have only played one match. Jessica defeated Emmeline Callado and Jasmine defeated Sarah Rocha in a shootout where uh, it was straight sets for uh, Jessica. Jasmine's got to be one of the hardest breakers in the women's game. Well, Hitting that last one well over 20 miles an hour. Big match off to the side here. We have the Battle of the Christinas. Zaldeva and Tkach. Again, just crushing the break. Getting up into that 23 mile an hour range. Good position on the one this time. All balls in the open. I'm going to have to do some pretty specific cue ball movement from the three to the four, but if she does fall on it, the five is right there. All ball fouls, so the referee Mike Wazalu from Canada keeping a close eye and nothing's touched. Going to have to cross the angle here. Natural angle's lying okay, just going to have to take note of the, of the speed coming across. Really wants to be pretty straight on it. If she gets too much angle going to the right, it's not going to be good because the eight is blocking that pocket for the four. Strong bridge off the rail there. See, see how she gets the speed here. It's not quite enough. I feel like there's room to power the cue ball over to the right side rail and back across. Got to be careful with clipping the nine in that case. Nice shot. Really good timing in her stroke there. Had to get a lot out of the cue wall, but still made it look easy. Jasmine's had a very strong resurgence as of the last two years. Always picked up one or two titles over the years. Had some years where she won five or six. But feel like in the last year particularly, She's really become one of the top five threats to win any tournament. Okay, so we have a runner for the coach Hughes. Sean Hughes with the coach mitigators. Ticket number one four seven seven five seven one one. Brandon Vinny, you have one your ticket. 
Both these women really playing power pool, not afraid to hit the ball at higher speeds, not afraid of the big stroke shots. more angle than she would have wanted. Just came up a little funny on the six where it was tough to get real close to the eight. I think she's going to have to slow roll at this ball. She'd want to be going two rails, but the ten's right in the way of that two rail track. Might be room between the nine ten to come up two rails. This is quite the match here. Uh, Jasmine and Cheska have met, according to Fargo, uh, six times. And out of those six times, Cheska appears to have won three, and Jasmine has won three. Wow, closely matched. Very matched. How about the score lines? Close score lines? Uh, yes, yeah, 7-6, except for 7-3. There's a 7-4 there, too. Uh, their common opponents it tells a bigger difference, so Cheska has a higher percentage against the common opponents that they've played throughout their pro career at 58% to, to Jasmine's 53. Okay. Probably, probably explains why Cheska's rated a little higher overall. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jasmine's going after it. <clears throat> One mistake from Centeno in the first rack. Break and run from Ocean in the second rack. Both these women will be playing in the PBS showdown later on this week. 16 of the best women in the world invited to that tournament. It'll be a nine ball tournament. All other tournaments on offer throughout the week will be 10 ball. It'll be the one chance to get to see some nine ball. They're going to be playing with the one on the spot, so I predict that turn will be pretty offensive. And both of these players with their eye on the prize of $18,000. First place. Second place is 10-5. And both in a position to do so. Moving right along to the final 16. One of them will get there. The other one will have to play one more match. Switching break locations here. I'm surprised. Maybe she just felt like she was losing the cue ball a little too much from the middle. Well, that was all in the hit, really. You know, you can't, when you go straight in the pocket, you can't <laughs> blame for where you broke from. Yeah. You gotta Even blame where you hit. She checked it. Will the one ball get one, there? Yeah. Yes. And the two will spin in, and the cue ball is going in the right direction for the three. Yeah, she's gonna run right towards the six, seven. See what happens off that. I don't mind the gamble where you run into it, but the two's not really in that perfect spot where even if you hit it rail first, you're not always going to make it. Safes are tough. Could try to bank the two towards the 10 and get the balls in the middle of the table, use the balls in the middle of the table as blockers. Smart shot there. The rail first just wasn't high enough percentage. Executed very well. Centeno's going to be on a kick safe here, ideally sticking the cue ball behind the 10. Two's a little far from the rail that she's going to have to hit it pretty well to stop it. Shot. Did she call it in the corner? Forgot to call the two. She knows that. She knows that was the most obvious pocket. Just kind of got up there and didn't make a call. Remember that if you're playing, whenever you're playing 10 ball, it'll never hurt you to call something. And this is a perfect example. You know, people will think, well, what if I make the two? And or what if I don't make the two and the cue ball goes behind the three while your opponent's shooting? In this case, your opponent's shooting anyways. It's never going to hurt you to call a ball.
safe there from Jasmine. Might have left just enough of, this, of the long rail to be able to go at this ball thinly. Play the three into the seven. Good containing shot from Centeno. No obvious safes on hand here. There is a lot of traffic in the middle, though. Should be playing around that area. Good shot. Centeno's on a short rail first kick here again. She'll be calling the three this time. There she goes. Would never make that mistake two times in a row. Almost made it again. So as we as we expected, fast and furious here. It's been one sided. Centeno only had the one chance. We're just got a kind of out of the ordinary scratch, caroming off a ball in the corner pocket. Jasmine's the favorite here again. Take the third game of the first set. Shot. Cue ball slightly going the wrong way, but still straight enough to hold. I feel like she'll just cinch the position here. Eight balls looming too big to do anything coming around three rails. Going to draw this ball near the corner pocket. Try to come inside the eight towards the six. I was going to ask you, she, that's going to be pretty tight. Yeah, she's got to get it real close yeah. in the corner here. And the instincts tell you you don't want to go that close. Right. Right right spin will help her swing a little tighter into the second rail. Kind of got distracted by a break on the outside table, but a vet, veteran move there to get up off the shot. Just call her extension, reset. It's a pretty loud one, too. Yeah. Look at the intensity in her eyes. Sure. Well, she knows what she has to do to be a player of Centeno's level, and she's bringing everything she's got here. performance so far from Jasmine and she'll be breaking in the fourth game showing that she has the break and run power making balls off every break lost the cue ball in the first one but it's been successful on at least making a ball in the first three breaks just the slightest angle going to the left she'll have to accept more angle on the 10 but she'll be okay she just go ahead and follow this a little bit or will she draw it back? Maybe stun it. Just try to get as Oh, yeah, draw all the way over to the opposite side. Yeah. yeah. All right, she didn't come off. She had less angle than we thought. That was perfect. Intimidating play here from Ocean. Centeno will definitely be able to respond if she gets the chance, but she's going to need one. Yeah, she definitely can't do it from the chair. All the other women's side qualification matches going on right now as well. Simming Chen and Allison Fisher also playing a match. That's over on table one. They are tied at one as we speak. 
Christina to catch is on one of the outside tables. Federer Gorse there supporting her. Jasmine going from the same spot again this time. Made two balls on the last break from this location. Really generates a lot of power. Big leg kick at the back, getting her whole body through the shot. Really hit them well. Let's see if she gets real aggressive here and tries the 10 ball combo. It's tempting to win the set. <laughs> That's pretty far away. And when you're that close to your object ball that you have to hit into the ball, it's, uh, to me, I get a little, um, I don't know, you just don't see it as well. You don't see the spot as well. I know what you mean, yeah. No. Oh. She's called the 10. She's going yeah. at it. It's, a, it's tougher when you have to cut that ball a lot. Mm -hmm. when she, she doesn't have to cut this one that much. So I definitely know what you mean about being yeah. close to the ball you're shooting. The good thing about it is the cue ball is going away from it. The one ball probably, is probably going to stay in the vicinity of where the 10 ball is mm -hmm. now. So the worst she's going to do is give up a bank unless she hangs up the 10 and gives up a carom. Right. Got it. Didn't what a hang first set from Jasmine. Two breaking runs. Finishing the set in about 15 to 20 minutes. Great performance here so far. Centeno is going to take a timeout. Be sure to come back for the conclusion of this one. Hey, Tell you what, Centeno can, can make a comeback here. No this will problem. Be a this will be a bar banner. Yeah. Burner. Yeah. Okay, we'll take a quick break here and we'll be right back. Well, while we wait for Jessica to get back into the arena and uh, release her onslaught towards Jasmine, I'll bring some updated scores here. Uh, Chao Cheyu has won the first set against Ilu Kibaroglu. Um, Bin Hung leads 3-0 uh, in the first set against Amber Chen. Seo Soa, 3-0 over Pia Filler. 
Allison Fisher and uh, Seming Chen are tied two games apiece. Christina Tekach leads Christina Zalteva 3 to 1 in the first set. Maite Ropero trails 0 to 2 to Wei Tru Ching, Wei Wei. And then Yuki Hiraguchi trails Kelly Fisher 2 to 1. And we're off and running into the live action to the second set of our premier match here. Ten ball randomly went in the top pocket. Doesn't count as a win. How did that get kissed? I was reading the I was reading the the scores and uh, didn't see the break. Yeah, it's a rare occurrence. Oh, I sure. Didn't, I didn't exactly see how it got up there. But Ten. nice for Centennial. She's still at the table here. A dangerous place for that young lady to be. Mm -hmm. If you're her opponent. Yeah. If, if, if you're you, a spectator, well. You're in luck. Yeah, if you've never seen her play, watch how quick she gets through these balls. All talent and intuition. Of course, practice as well, knowing all the shots and executing them. The female version of Joshua Filler? Yeah, I'd say so. Also left-handed. Max line good, just maintain angles here. She had tears of joy in her eyes when she won the World Ten Ball Championships. Just years of years and years of dedication and practice. Fulfilling all the prophecies that everyone ever had for her. Ooh. Well, Jasmine's going to have a chance to jump right out on her again. Just thought about the cue ball a little bit more than the pocketing last second there. Slow roll spin from Jasmine. She had two breaking runs in the first set. Be looking to replicate that here in this set. Uh, Eighty-four percent of the time in that first set. Actually, it was eighty-eight percent of the time in that first set. I was going to say, felt like more than that. Yeah, yeah, Jasmine Ocean at the table. She had a good break success of 75%. She pocketed 30 balls to Cheska's six. Safety efficiency was high. Both of them played great safeties in the first set at 100%. And the first game of the second set goes to Jasmine. She's won five games in a row from Cheska Centeno. She missed, what, the seven ball or the eight? Eight in the last rack. Mm -hmm. Just And the first set, the only mistake she really made was uh, just getting out, playing bad position on one shot. Cue ball ended up scratching. Got into one safety battle besides that. Jasmine won it. Jasmine playing an outstanding set and winning 4 0. She got rewarded. But this is the second set. Oh, she's smacking that break. Yeah. Caught a little cut angle on that one, then ended up making the one on the side. That's. I feel like she was trying to hit them square there with the speed she hit it at. Usually on a cut break, you'd take a little bit <laughs> off. Four ball still spinning and just now stopped. Wow. So Quite the hit. Centeno will be at the table here. Got to figure out a push. 
I like where she's looking here. Just kind of a tester shot for Jasmine. Isn't this just a little carom for the nine in the side? I think you have to draw it. I don't think she gives us back. The problem is which ball to call. I, I hear you, yeah. I, th I think the the biggest problem with the carom is that you'll have to draw it and you'll, lo you'll lose control of the one a little bit. I understand, though, that oh. making the nine is almost e is easier than making the one. Sure. She gave it back. See if Centeno goes after the carom here. No, called the one. Yeah, she's drawn. Oh, she called the one. So she's not going. Yeah. I was going to say, if you go after the one, you can use the nine to play position for the two. Well, a good choice by Jasmine. Proves to be a good choice. Yeah. She's Nat back at the table with a shot. Yeah, natural position across for the two here. Yeah, the way the balls lie, you know, I would think if, if something was tied up, I would consider the carom off the two into the ten. But with everything open, I don't think so. I think she goes for the run. Yeah, the one thing she's going to have to be careful of here is she'll probably move the six while she's pocketing the three. And the six could tie up with the four. It's unlikely, but it's just Move it on purpose. Right, yeah. Just when she does move it, it's going to be moving right towards the four. I almost like hitting, I don't know. I feel like it's going to run into the four, and now what's going to happen with the four? Uh-oh. Oh, she Drew. lost a white ball over Drew it just a hair. Well... And it's little mistakes like this that fire up this young lady coming to the table. Sure. She was struggling, you know, for, for her standards just a little bit, missed a couple balls. But now starting with this ball in hand position, this is really the kind of start that can get Centeno going. I'll tell you the truth, in that uh, World 10 ball uh, final against Allison Fisher, um, this is exactly... Was it the final or the semifinal? Semifinals semifinal, when she made yeah. the comeback, yeah. Yeah, she made the comeback. This is how she got started. Allison had a great opportunity to uh, pocket a ball off the side pocket and, and missed it. And um, she came to the table and took over. Looks like Centeno's going to be resigned to the short side of the ball here, but that'll be okay. Not quite settled in, running into balls. You okay with shooting that nine ball on the side? I think so. If not, the corner's available as well. Ah, oh, yeah, she'll shoot it to the corner from here. Nice rack there from Centeno. And we're tied at one instead of the two, two zero she might have been facing. Centeno to break. Pocketed more balls in that rack than she has uh, the entire first set. Yeah, re really strong from Jasmine to hold Centeno not even to not a game one, but also very low on the ball pocketing total. I think I've won sets before where my opponent didn't pocket a ball. Oh, wow. I, I've never, I don't think I've ever broken ran in the set from the from mm -hmm. the flip or anything, but just for whatever reason, they missed the ball or playing safe or getting lucky. You know, short sets I'm talking about, right? Five or mm -hmm. five or seven. Well, you know, seven is an eternity to players like myself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> The nine ball tracking right at that pocket. One ball goes in. Good shot on the two. And guess who just uh, stepped on the gas? Yeah, yeah. Chance for Centeno to get offensive and lock Jasmine out here. 
What's the over under on the on on the time for this wreck? Under two minutes. I, I was I was thinking about going <laughs> even quicker than that, but I think two minutes is pretty safe. We'll just let her go here. It's a thing of beauty. Gonna have to move the cue ball a little more than she'd like here. Could draw on top of the 10, try to get straight on the 7. Fall over to that location as well. What's she at here, George? Minute, minute thirty-five. I didn't time it. I think <laughs> was it last year we we timed a couple of matches. <laughs> yeah, I, I I think I I. Uh, oh, oh look at this! Oh my goodness! What a roll that was! Oh, uh, and that was the cloth. That's the when it, they stretch it right there by the side pocket. It's the slow uh, speed. It's the slow the, speed, the and that caught the weave of the cloth and moved right into the. Um, corner i haven't seen a roll like that in a while oh it's been uh, yeah they're unusual I don't, not by roll i don't mean table roll i just mean like a roll of the roll of the ball she might have made this no way no way let's get up everybody a standing ovation for that shot wow Well, it took her 30 seconds to think of that shot, oh. so uh, otherwise it would have been I, under two minutes. I lost the, I, I lost the <laughs> under bet because she got cushion hooked, but... <laughs> Jasmine almost dropped her drink. The run out still came <laughs> through. What a shot there. What a shot. Unfazed, too. Just kind of went back to her chair, ready to break again. <laughs> well, what do you mean that went in? Of course it did. Yeah, last two matches we've done here, we've seen that ball behind the one kind of going back in that, specifically in that side mm -hmm. pocket. Yes. Testament to the, the rack. Yeah, table's racking well. Refs are doing their job properly. Well, I will say I believe this is a brand-new table. And in addition, I know it's brand-new balls because I opened them uh, yesterday. Okay. Yeah, only the best from Predator. Shot was tougher than it looked. Nice shot there. Staying in line well here. Got to get straight enough on the five to draw up the left side of the table. We'll take more angle at it. Kind of surprised at that play. Might have been worried about how much angle she had going to the left. Can still get around three rails here. Or draw in between the eight and the side pocket. Nice shot. Going to be forced to take a little more angle on the eight and the side. A little straight as well, or that's pretty much the only option. Just nice six-inch draw here. These shots can be touchy. 
Really contact point and speed relative. Yeah, decided to power out of it. Nice shot. Just a little too much angle here. She's going to want to come in tight to the pocket on the left there. Yeah, I think she'll force it around three rails. End up with a little more angle on the 10 than she'd like. But better than being long distance from it. Played nicely. So now, after the one mistake from Jasmine, Centeno comes back with two break and runs. What a match we have here, guys. Three to one in the second set. You know, this set's going so quick and the play is so fast and furious. I don't want to check other scores. <laughs> yeah. But I was wondering how Simi Chen and Allison Fisher are doing. Centeno going from the middle again. They are tied at three in the first set. Nice competitive, competitive match there as well. There goes that same ball in the side pocket. And look at the kiss she gets to get position for the one. Favorite to run three and out here. One mistake was all she needed to get this set done. Still a bit of work to be, to be done here. Just checking if the four passes the nine believe it does. She'll be drawing straight back if that's the case. Kind of in between where the cue ball is going the wrong way just a bit. Just cinched it. Cheated the thick part of the pocket. Feel like the cue ball is the cue ball being the scratch here, George? It's close. It's not. If she so follows? She, no, she'll be okay. Yeah. But she, she, had, she had to draw out of it. Worried about the scratch and crashed on the six. Well, well, she's going to come up, have to come up with another, wrap it out of her hat here. Yeah. Jump either. the five in. And that ball's out in the middle of the table. Can she reach the jump? I think it's at least on the right side of the table for her to be left-handed, but you're right, it's pretty far out there. I like hitting this kick with speed and draw, stun draw. Didn't get the five. Yeah. How's it going to end up? After kicking the ten ball in, I think she was asking a lot to kick that one in, <laughs> yeah. too. I'll settle for that. That That's a once in a every other year shot. For sure. Jasmine can play the cue ball behind the eight here. She won't get the five very far from the eight if she does that, so she might choose to play back behind the nine, ten wall. Ooh, going to catch the window, I think, yeah. unless the seven gets there. No, Santano's going to have a shot at this. <clears throat> I think she might come all the way around three, uh, excuse me, three rails here. Tough shot, queuing off the rail. She's going to get behind the six. Oh, no, she didn't. Okay, second, first chance for Jasmine in three racks here. All ball fouls, got to be very careful here. Don't forget Jasmine has the break and run power, and she does have one game so far in this set. She did run, she did break and run two racks on the last uh, set. In the first set, yeah. yeah.
Mm -hmm. Just didn't like the position there. Felt like she would have to draw at it. Chose to play safe, nicely executed. I believe she called the five in the corner. Jasmine's going to get her chance here. Well. If she can draw the ball straight enough back to get to play the six on the side, she will. If not, she'll have to draw up the left side of the table. Looks like she's going to draw straight back for the side. That's the shot she wants. Oh, no. Just up the left side. That's fine. Little far down table. Yeah, t ten ball helps. If you do play at the ten, you got to kind of slow roll it. Yeah, because otherwise you end up in the side pocket. Yeah. Yeah, she's going to draw away from it. I mean, she missed that thick because she was worried about drawing out of the angle enough. Yeah, I think she also missed a thick because she was making sure she caught enough ball so she wouldn't hit the 10. Right, yeah. Which, which is what you meant by drawing out of the angle. Yeah. It took me a while to understand that. <laughs> Just for clarification. Although, as far as shootouts go, this would be one heck of a shootout. Oh, yeah, we're in for a treat here. I think I'm going to, if I were to pick someone, uh, I would pick Centeno. I'm going to pick Jasmine in the shootout only because of the way they both shoot the, the spot shot. Okay. If I remember correctly, uh, Cheska wraps it out of the corner, and uh, Jasmine shoots it with the natural English and the natural flow. Well, if I would have known that, I would have took Jasmine. <laughs> 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 I, I actually like shooting it how Jasmine does. Yeah. Yeah. Less, less spin, less chance to worry about deflection. Jasmine, just going to take a quick break here, but don't go anywhere, guys. Quick reminder of the shootout rules. There'll be one shot from each side of the table, total of four shots. If any player is leading after those four shots, that'll be it. If not, they'll move the cue ball back. A diamond. Both both shots are within the diamond. First rail or first diamond on the side rail and first diamond on the short rail. And that'll be sudden death at that point. Yeah. First one to falter in that inning will lose. If it goes to sudden death and they use the back uh, block of the table there. Longest shootouts in Pro Billiards history have gone about 14 innings. There's been a couple more that have gone over 10 innings, I think. I, s I still can recall a great shootout between Naoyuki Oi and Jesus Atencio in Arizona. That one was about 14 yeah. or 15, I uh, think. They were tied at 14, and I believe uh, Atencio missed, and Naoyuki Oi made his, and then gave us a samurai sword swing right after that. Just looking at Centeno, she was shaking her leg a little bit there, a little bit of nervous energy she wants to get in. She, she never left the arena for a second. She, she can't wait to shoot. Uh, that's probably why Jasmine took the, took the break. Yeah. Plus, it's smart. If you think of it this way, she's been sitting in her chair watching Cheska break and run two racks, beat her four games in a row. So a complete reset, you know, just go to the ladies' room real quick, walk back in. That's a and, great point. Uh, Centeno had the momentum at, at that mm -hmm. point, yeah. And so you re she resets her mind and uh, keeps Cheska in the chair for a little bit. Mm -hmm.
Both players great sportsmen, wishing each other luck before the shootout. Jasmine won the lag, so she will be going first. Missed the opening shot. I'll tell you what, she got a small beat from the shot clock there. Now I'm that that beat from the shot clock, it does shark a lot of players, I think. Yeah. It kind of uh, startles them a little bit. You can see a reaction from them half the time. Yeah, there there is a shot clock even in the shootout. Centeno. A little risky with the cue ball there. Survives it, makes the first shot. She'll have a good mental advantage here knowing she's shooting second. Big pressure on Jasmine to make these next three shots. Took some speed off that yeah. one. Floated in nicely. Dead center of the pocket, too. Just stayed with the stroke. Too bad there has to be a loser in this match. Both really? teams have played so well. Well, you know, the funny thing is they both won five. Uh, uh, actually, they both won four games in a row to win the set. Mm -hmm. Jasmine did win the opening set, opening Ooh, game of the second here we set. Go. The drama's well, not well, well. Yet. We're all tied again. Now it's two innings. Yep. And likely to move to the sudden death from here, I would say, likely to for them both to make it. And that's a good point. Sure. Horse pressure's coming in, not like just shooting the shot in practice. Both players want to beat each other. Oh, yeah, that was side of the pocket, but good <laughs> enough. This is the side they both shot to to be open up the set. Jasmine made hers. Missed hers, excuse me. Jessica made hers. And dead center. She shoots it the same way Jasmine does. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you, you, in the past thought, you'd seen yeah. her wrap it out. I, yeah. saw, I saw her wrap it out before. Well, she practiced a little more and realized this is a little more consistent, maybe. Well, I, <laughs> I've since since the onset, since they started with a spot shot, I always felt that that was the other way. I used to shoot a lot of spot shots. Mm -hmm. uh, we, I used to run a tournament and we had a spot shot challenge. Uh, in Arizona, it used to be rated a nine or a ten, uh, and so you had to make it half of your handicap. Okay. So I had to go to five, and uh, prize money added up, added up, added up. And uh, it'd get to as high as 450 bucks, which was a pretty good little drawing if you, uh, if you want it. And you have to make it five in a row, so I used to practice them quite a bit. Shot there from Jasmine, and they're tied after three innings each. Pardon me, that was Jasmine's fourth That's inning, so she's ahead. Innings. Yeah, so Cheska has to make this. Has to, to make this or it's done. Got it. Dead center. And we're on to sudden death. Cue ball gets backed up a diamond. And now the spot shot becomes, what would you say, twice as hard? Just that, just that 
what is it, 12, 13, it's 13 something inches? Yeah. That it backs up? Yeah, 20 to 30 percent harder, I would say. Yeah, I yeah. would say 20. And it's now behind the first diamond, inside the first diamond from the side rail. I like where she's at. This way she can take advantage of the opening of the corner pocket. Let's see if she goes off the rail. Oh, no, she's going to go right off the rail. Perfect. Ooh, Ooh missed it badly. Did she direct? Did she steer that? After after ah. she let it go, I think ah. she knew she caught it thick. I w I'd love to see a replay on that. Well, Centeno. Oh, I will see it. Centeno for the match here. Nice shot. And that's it. What a match we had here. And Centeno will advance to the final 16 for the, in the Women's Las Vegas Open. Jasmine Ocean will still be in the tournament. She has to win one more match to make it back to the final 16. Look for both of these players to be big threats throughout the week. Eric, thanks very much for hosting this match with me and explaining the ins and outs to everyone out there, all these pool fans from all around the world. Uh, what a match you were just treated to. And so were we. We'll see you in a little bit. Okay. George Stage and Eric Hardison signing out. Night, guys.